What's poppin' YouTube family? It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage. And please do me a favor. First off is like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified when I put out new content. Tonight, I'm actually here to give my two cents on a fragrance I've also heard about in the fragrance community. So if you want to know exactly what fragrance that is, keep it locked. Let's get right off into it. Tonight I'm here with Versace Pour On Eau Noir. Here's your box presentation. Versace on the top. Batch code on the bottom. Got a 100 ml bottle, 3.4 ounces. Let's crack it open and see what we got here. Here's your bottle presentation. I love it. Really, really nice bottle. Starts off dark at the bottom, comes into a clearish, smoky gradient at the top. Got the Versace emblem on your cap. Batch code on the bottom of your bottle. Let's give her a spray and see what we got here. Gold all in it. Flossy with it. Strong atomizer. Let's see what we got here. Some note breakdown. Oh man, that's wonderful. Black pepper, bitter orange, and the rolly in the top notes. Mid notes, you got saffron, cardamom, albinum. Base notes, you got algarwood, which is oud, and you got patchouli and leatherwood. To me, this is not no aggressive oud, which I, I don't have a whole lot of experience with oud fragrances because it's the only one that I own. But uh, I definitely get that powdery tint and that cardamom. So it's a really sweet fragrance to me, in my humble opinion. It'll be great for your fall and winter months. That oud, which is something I'm new to, but it's kind of a weird accord. It gives something real, real different. It's like a woody smell or like a like a moist wood smell. Overall, I like it though. A whole bunch. If I had to give it off first sniff uh, rating, I give it a strong eight. But I got to spend some more time with it to see what it does, how long it lasts, so I can give you a my opinion on longevity. Things of that magnitude. But the bottle presentation is all that. I like this bottle a whole lot. If you have this in your collection... Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Or if you got any experience with a lot of oud fragrances, let me know what's the difference between the what they call skanky or stanky oud and a wearable oud. But other than that, it's your boy Dwight. Get back with me. Peace.